Before you enjoy the video, I would like to mention that over 85% of my viewers aren't subscribed. If you're part of 85%, consider subscribing as it helps me grow, thus producing better and more content for everybody. I would also like to mention that I'm doing a big giveaway once we reach 500 subscribers, so let's all get together and reach the goal. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Smojo and welcome back to another video. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different. I was thinking about this for a while. And I just wanted to introduce it to light and see what you guys thought. So today we're going to be talking about the crown shop. Um, I think that I have created in my mind, I think I've created a better system than the crown shop. That would be more beneficial to the players and possibly more beneficial to KI itself. As you guys know, what we do, we buy in-game currency with real life currency. Um, if you guys don't, don't know what that means, that means I take my real life money and I buy crowns basically. And with these crowns, I can buy various amounts of things across Wizard 101. Now, the thing about packs is you buy a pack, you know what's in the pack, but you don't know what you're going to get out of the pack. And a lot of people buy a lot of packs trying to get one specific thing. And this one specific thing might have a chance of 5% of actually getting, or maybe even lower, 2%, 1%, you know, 0.5%. I personally don't know the percentages of the items in the packs, but just for example, people have opened hundreds of packs trying to get gear or mounts or whatever they're trying to get cards for example and, and they, it takes a hundred packs just to get one item that they want and there's similar games have done the same thing games like a rocket league with keys and crates or games like call of duty with their crates they all have the same concept behind you spending money on buying a loot box potentially which is also in the form of gambling you spending money on a random chance to get something that you might not even get you aren't guaranteed to get anything that you want out of packs it's all random and you have to get really lucky to get something that you want i personally like to compare this to games like rocket league and call of duty because i've played those games a lot when it came to rocket league you will buy keys uh, to open crates and the way that you would get these crates you could buy these crates or you would get them in game then you would take those crates and then you would buy keys in order to open crates for in-game items now when it came to call of duty they had the exact same concept and if you think back when the crates were gone and along with rock league when the crates were gone both of them got rid of crates in their game and replaced it with a battle pass now rock league took it a step further and implemented blueprints if you guys don't know how blueprints work basically you would get a blueprint from playing the game just just in general playing the game you would get this blueprint and on this blueprint it would show an item that you could get and the only way to construct this blueprint to get the item that you could get is if you bought in-game currency to redeem the item from the blueprint i think this concept is a lot better because you're guaranteed to get what you want instead of spending hundreds of dollars on opening packs not even getting what you want now let's take an item from a recent update on wizard 101 which are the pets the little the little daisy pets the little they're like small cute green and they're like flowers the only way to get those pets is if you spend 10,000 crowns in a crown shop 10,000 crowns is equivalent to $20 in real life currency I don't know about you but I'm not spending $20 on a pet although the pet does look very nice it looks very cute and I I, I, I want the pet I'm not spending $20 on a pet now let's say there was another way to get this pet and the way to get this pet is if you had the blueprint of the pet and to get this blueprint of the pet it was a rare drop from a boss let's say you're farming this boss and you get the rare drop of the blueprint you could then take crowns and redeem the blueprint and get the pet and if it only took around a 5,000 crowns of 10,000 that's half off I would definitely do that this would ensure that more people would be playing the game if they wanted a pet because they would have to farm a boss to get the blueprint and they would still spend ten dollars on redeeming the blueprint and for those that don't want to farm you could just spend the twenty dollars now let's say there's an item in a pack that you want for example energy gear a lot of people want energy gear for planting for for pet leveling anything that costs energy in the game a lot of people want it now let's say it was around christmas and the snow drifters items were out and you wanted the snow drifter energy gear the only way to get it is to open a whole bunch of packs to hope and pray that you get this energy gear you could get super lucky and get it within 15 dollars of crowns or you can get super unlucky and spend a hundred plus dollars on opening packs until you get the entire set of energy gear i think that a better solution to this is if you could fight mobs 
around this time for a chance to get a blueprint in order to redeem that blueprint with crowns and you're guaranteed the item that you want overall i think that a system where i'm guaranteed to get the item that i want is a lot better than hoping and praying to get an item out of a pack it will also encourage playing the game to get the items that you want versus paying to get the items that you want otherwise guys it's been a nice little conversation with y'all uh it was awesome it was dope i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys next time and uh, yeah have a great day peace